Hello people, it's Friday. I'm not quite sure when you're gonna see this video. So it could be Monday, it could be Tuesday, it could be Wednesday, we have no idea. This is totally unscripted. I have no idea what to say to you. We do have a special guest with us today. So if it is Friday that you're seeing this, then we posted a video yesterday, which was Thursday, and it was full moon. You're probably very confused by now. Mm -hmm. Good, so are we. Uh, so we posted a video yesterday before moon and we were told to drink lots of water before we went to bed and then put down did you do that I did I did I was the only person out of the three of us I believe that actually did that and wow it was deep it was deep so next full moon you need to drink lots of water before you go to bed so that you will wake up in the middle of the night and then you need to write down your dream without waking up your husband and then get back into bed and go back to sleep. That's the task. You've got four weeks to work on this, so that's not difficult. Any case, I forgot to put the spoon in my husband's lunchbox today, so I'm resigning from being a housewife. Great, <laughs> <laughs> okay. yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pass this over to Judy Humphreys, who today we're calling Kumju, because we have Julie Connolly in with us. I haven't had a drink, it's a Friday afternoon. That's all I've got to say right now. So I'm going to pass this over to Judy Humphreys. Humju, over to you. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Thank you for that, that wonderful, wonderful segue. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all ready to uh, retire from housework and uh, kitchen duties right now. <laughs> but anyways, here we are. And it's all about food right now. For a lot of us, it's so much about food. So we have the lovely Julie Connolly back with us again today. She's a holistic nutritionist amongst other qualifications. And uh, we're gonna pick her brain about some things, especially pertaining to gluten. This is something that uh, is uh, in the minds of lots of people right now, and I know for myself, I have been, I have broken down and I have done some baking, even with yeast, and I love this, <laughs> this website, Bigger Boulder Baking, and she wants me to, to make gluten, that is part of the process of the baking she says I can't remember which step it is exactly but it's like let it rest so it can form gluten and I'm thinking okay so gluten isn't something that is already a part of another ingredient then it's something that is forming somehow in this process and I don't know what it is but it makes it taste really good <laughs> So I have some questions for you, Julie. First of all, what is gluten? So gluten is, it's when flour is mixed with water and the gluten proteins, which are glutenin and gliadin, they form this glue-like consistency, which makes the dough elastic. And it gives the bread the ability to rise when it's baked. And it also provides that chewy, satisfying texture, which is, of course, the part we love. And that's the part that keeps us coming back. Okay, so that's why she wants that. She wants me to form this gluten because it gives it this wonderful texture. Does it add anything to the taste then too? Or is it more about the texture? More about the texture, yeah. Okay. So then why do I not want to form gluten? Okay, so, so most people can tolerate gluten just fine, but people who have problems, who are celiac or gluten sensitivity or who wheat, have wheat allergies can't. So um, some of the reasons you don't want gluten is because that most of the foods that contain gluten are highly processed, which typically means that they're devoid of any nutritional value. Um, and even if you don't have a gluten sensitivity or wheat sensitivity or celiac, it's possible to develop a gluten sensitivity or non-celiac gluten sensitivity. And of course, we don't want that. Um, removing gluten can lower a lot of inflammation in the body, or it can also cause a lot of inflammation in the body. 
And inflammation is the cause of most of our health problems. So again, we want to avoid the inflammation. Um, and one of the true bonuses is that avoiding gluten can help alleviate or prevent neurological conditions like depression and anxiety or and depression, anxiety, and schizophrenia, since the gut and the brain are so deeply interconnected. So those are some pretty strong reasons why you might want to avoid it. So how can I make this yummy bread <laughs> and not cause inflammation and all these issues inside my body that I really don't want to yeah. have? Um, use gluten free flours <laughs> and it's not going to taste the same. It's definitely acquired learning. Um, uh, yeah, it's not going to have the same texture or feel or taste. It's just not. Um, but it's better for you. <laughs> and, and, you know, you'll avoid all these health problems that you don't want. So, so I have to try and find another way to have that, you know, that ooey gooey feeling in my life. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause the, the non-gluten ones are definitely, they're heavier and they're, they're not the same. You know, so you're just going to have to kind of agree that you can live without that ooey gooey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So how would I, um, how would I know if I might have, or how would I, what would I notice if I maybe have a sensitivity or an intolerance mm. to gluten. Okay, so some of the signs are um, anxiety or depression, balance issues, um, abdominal discomfort like bloating or pain, brain fog, diarrhea or mucus in the stool, gas, uh, fatigue, headaches, joint or muscle pain, leaky gut, numbness in your extremities, nausea, and skin issues like eczema. So those are some of the ways wow. right now. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. <laughs> so uh, is there like sort of a guideline as if you had, say there are 10 of those, if I had five of those, there's a good chance or? Yeah. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, and if, if you're not sure, um, an elimination diet is the best way to kind of, you know, get rid of everything for a while, like 30 days or whatever, and then try and slowly add them back in and see how you feel. So when you say get rid of everything, do you mean just get rid of bread or are there other <laughs> places that gluten is hidden? Oh, there's a couple of other places it's hidden. So generally, um, gluten is in wheat, barley, rye, spelt, and oat, unless oat is specified as gluten-free. So that's in white and whole wheat flours, um, basically all your breads, pastas, cereals, crackers. It's also in beer, um, processed broths, bouillon cubes, fried products. Um, it can also be in um, really scary hidden places like cosmetics, um, dietary, pardon? Sorry, that got last couple minutes got interrupted by a phone call. So if you could just go back to uh, beer. <laughs> you said beer. It's <laughs> uh, let's go back to the beer. So so you can find gluten in beer, um, bouillon cubes, fried products, uh, processed luncheon meats, all those things. But it can also be in your cosmetics, dietary supplements and vitamins. Um, pharmaceutical medications, Play-Doh, tea bags, uh, the glue on envelopes, um, sunscreen and toothpaste. So it's, it's in all sorts of weird places that you'd never even think. Tea bags? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. So and yet another reason to have loose leaf tea. Yeah. Now what I didn't hear you say in there was wine. No, I didn't. I don't think it's good chocolate. <laughs> there you go you're clear the wine and chocolate are on <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> okay 
<laughs> and then obviously things like, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables. <laughs> They're okay too. <laughs> Absolutely okay too. Okay. So there you have it. I, I think that uh, I'm going to have to stick to a diet of fruits and vegetables, wine and chocolate. <laughs> Better. <laughs> I just have to figure out how to get that ooey gooey feeling out of that. But maybe if I melt the chocolate or something and yeah. dip some fruit in it, I don't know. It's delicious. <laughs> Use like good quality, you know, nice seventy-five percent chocolate kind of thing. Use the good stuff. Right, right. So, yeah. th so this would get your seal of approval for me, Julie. <laughs> sure, absolutely. And if it makes you feel good, it's perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Chocolate what brioche. Then, just do a chocolate chocolate brioche. Yeah. Yeah. That will work. Perfect. So for Mother's Day, people could do that <laughs> for their moms. <laughs> Instead of making her a cake, <laughs> something like a fondue. Yeah. yeah. Or they could bring wine and chocolate. They could. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. That's, that's easier, right? <laughs> Definitely. Super simple for kids to do. <laughs> <laughs> Except they can't go to the liquor store. No. So we're not endorsing that. <laughs> We are not endorsing that. <laughs> <laughs> but husbands, All right. Husbands could go to the liquor store. Exactly, they could. Absolutely. So husbands could also pour a bubble bath, pour the wine, and present the chocolate. So. Well, they could, they, Julie, but like, you know. Probably that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they do, just be sure to say, where's my spoon? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was lovely. That was lovely, Julie. <laughs> Julie. And I think you're going to, you've got a little recipe that you're going to add on to this or something. Are you well, doing yeah. that in the... Yeah. Do you want me to send that to you? It was just for zucchini chips, which is super simple, delicious, gluten-free. It's got yeah. that nice crunch to it. Um, yeah. So let's add that in the, in the comments. Sure, I can send that along to you, sure. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Well, thank you very okay. much. Welcome, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and, and uh, it's snowing yet, so it's a bonus. And uh, it's the weekend. Another bonus, <laughs> and um, we'll see you soon. Bye, Julie. Bye, Julie. Bye, Julie. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Julie. Bye, Sue. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get my screen back here. <laughs>